Hey guys, how's it going? So today I have another album presentation for you. Today I've chosen Portugal de Ouro, which in English roughly means Golden Portugal. And it's about the Portugal team in 2011, so still on the road to the Euro 2012. It has a nice cover design, as you can see, obviously. Ronaldo first, then we have Quintrão, Carvalho, Meirelles, Moutinho, Eduardo, the Portuguese goalkeeper at the time, and also Nani. So, this was also a small mention to the 50 years of Panini. I think it was in 2012 they, they, they made 50 years, so at all, congratulations to them. Now it's 53, I think, so very nice age. Anyway, we have here the index, so the presentation, something about Portugal 2011, at the end Portugal, which means DNA Portugal. Uh, then we have here the list of the players, and also some categories at the end. The form order, as usual, in Portuguese too. Also, the of course being released only in Portugal it has the writings always in Portuguese so I will not talk about it much unless it's something important of course in here in this first page we have already the first sticker which is the the emblem the badge for the Portuguese Federation of Football so and also a picture with the lineup this is a picture not stickers also now we we'll start here with the Portugal 2011 so it has lineup with the alternative equipment you can see here and then we have here some moments until what happened in th before the, this was released so Portugal winning against Iceland 3-1 in Reykjavik then we have another lineup here also this one doesn't have Ronaldo yep it doesn't have Ronaldo then we have here another moment Portugal 3 Denmark 1 then some supporter pictures Mirel is cheering then the flag with some supporters holding it also Pepe celebrating with the others, Quintrão against Di Maria, nice picture, and also Ronaldo shooting, which is what he does best. Then we have here the coach at the time, Paulo Bento. So each, let's say player, no, though Paulo Bento is not a player, but each one has six stickers, so two here. Then we have the shiny sticker, which at the time, if I, if I remember correctly, if not, at least most of them were very hard to get. Very hard, not very, but hard to get. Then we have here another, this was, I think, a picture of, this, of some sticker, so it's a sticker in the sticker. So then we have uh, an adjective for every player now here Paul Bento as a coach say cerebral means something like uh, I don't know maybe <laughs> something about his brains so he knows how to to be a coach let's say like this how to be an amazing coach even though well it was not so good to me after all then we have here also you can also get the autograph so these stickers Sometimes stickers have also the autograph, but this one doesn't have also. Now let's start, let's move on to the players. So start up with the goalkeeper, Eduardo, again, the two stickers, shiny sticker. Also here, it's already different for the from the Paul Bento sticker. So it says something, Eduardo, at X-Ray. So it has some characteristics to, to Eduardo. Then again, the adjective elastic and also again you can also get his autograph 
Moving on, we have now Repatricio, which, which is now the current goalkeeper, the current uh, uh, main goalkeeper. So again, have here the imponent and again the, the possible autograph. Then we have John Pereira. The X-ray is uh, is a adjective sticker, a foito, which means something like daring, I think. Yeah, daring. Then again, the autograph. I'll try to move along more faster. Then Miguel. Again, Chinese sticker. X-ray. Uh, entrepreneur, I think. And the autograph from Bruno Alves, which is currently one of the main defenders for the team. Oh, and also here, Mandão, it means something like bossy. So, Ricardo Carvalho, again, Colosso, which means same thing in, in English. Then we have Miguel, no, Rolando, sorry, Rolando. I don't know, I think he got back now to the Portuguese league or not. No, no, we went to Marseille. Sorry. Then Pepe, as usual, we all know him. Ray, omnipresent, and his autograph was Ingua. Flying, <laughs> nice adjective, and also autograph. So Quintrell, you also know who he is. Great left back. Yep, very nice. Now Duda, I don't know where he is now. But he was somewhat good left back too. Romero, as you can see it. Then Carlos Martins now playing in Belenenses. Oh, nice picture. <laughs> Apaixonado, which means something like uh, loving. So Miguel Veloso. Dinam Kiev, I think he still is. Yeah, it sounded like Yoda now. Then Moutinho, Monaco player. Continuous, his adjective. Then Paul Machado. Um, I think he played Dinamo, Dinamo Zagreb now. I think I saw him in a playoff match in Champions League. Then Quaresma, good player, though a bit. Unstable, magical. Yep, that's his nickname, the magician. Let's say like the magician. And now, of course, you all know who this guy is, Cristiano Ronaldo. So his two stickers, his shiny sticker, Cristiano Ronaldo at X-ray. I'll try to translate. So it says something like striking right, which means it has a powerful shot with his right foot. Um, acceleration, vertigo and unstoppable and he surpasses himself in every game which is obviously true and it, of course here let's, this one is a, a nice sticker I think which has Ronaldo and Messi uh, trying to get the ball nice nice sticker so and the is adjective of course I think you can translate it as explosive so no, no autograph. I'm not a fan of the autograph, by the way. So sometimes people will try use this sticker for the autograph, but I'm not a fan. Anyway, since it's Ronaldo, we have also a Ronaldo mania here, a new a section just for him. So it has six stickers. I had to try to put them uh, side by side, which was not easy. So we have here Ronaldo against Arshavin in maybe Euro 2004, I think, he seems very young here. Ronaldo with his golden ball, Ballon d'Or, as, as it's called. So this was obviously in 2008, until 2011 it was the only one he won. Then the... the the goal against North Korea, a very funny goal, so 
he doesn't, he doesn't know how to, he got the ball on the back. Then Ronaldo celebrating with Thiago. And then a supporter loving Ronaldo. <laughs> and finally, some, as you saw here, against Messi, now it's against Mascherano in the same game. I think this game Portugal lost to Argentina right at the end with a penalty goal for Messi, I think. But anyway, then we have here a bunch of writings the telling why he's a, an ace, so I will not talk about it much. Then we have Nani, of course you all know him. Phenomenal. Then we have Dani, which still plays in Zenith, I think, for a long time. Then Postiga, now I don't know where he is. He was also a bit unstable when playing, could make good stuff, but also doesn't play nothing at all. Then we have also Almeida, same thing as Pastiga. Portugal always had a deficit in, in strikers, so it was always the worst thing we, we had was were the strikers. And also Wiedson, so at the time Wiedson had been a naturalized Portuguese. He was Brazilian, he's still Brazilian of course, but he now he could play for Portuguese. He only played for, let's say, one year I think. Still gave some help. Then, just two stickers for the, the remaining. So the shiny sticker and his adjective. So Venturi, for example, is reliable. Silvio, generous. So Ricardo Costa again, he saw here. Also Manuel Fernandes, he was a Valencian player. Now I don't know where he is. Varela still in Porto. And Ruben Mikael. Finally, we get to the do, did you know the section did you know Sebiashke. So we have here, for instance, uh, the team that got it at the third place in the 1966, with of course Eusebio being the top player. Also here in the Euro '84, where Portugal got back to an Euro. I think got back out. I think it was the first time. I can't remember well. Also, Figo. Here it was the player who got to wear Portugal shirt more. So, also Ronaldo being the youngest player getting eight caps. Twenty at uh, twenty-six years. Also, the best goal best score was against North Korea in World Cup 2010 7 7 nil and finally we get about talking about Nani being away from the World Cup 2010 to to injury finally we get also some of you might know these stickers so it was about the oldest players so we have here Bahia, Portuguese goalkeeper, in 96. So we have here the 96 sticker. We have here also João Pinto in Euro 2000. Also Fernando Couto in 2002, I think, the sticker. Yep, in here. You can also see here, 2002 FIFA. So Figo in Euro 96, George Costa, Rui Costa in 2004, uh, Sapinto, Oceano, Nuno Gomez in 2004, Paul Wethe in 2000, Sergio Conceição and Simão. Some more here, Paulo Ferreira, you all know, which Chelsea player, Ricardo, Manishi in 2008, also Deco, Thiago, and also you all know this guy, Scovari, Luis Felipe Scovari, Portuguese coach, coach for about six years, I think, from 2002 to 2008. Made some good results, though uh, I think he could have done better with the team we had at the time. So, still Figo playing and also Ronaldo rising up. And finally we got, now this is not a, a picture, it's real stickers. So, six stickers here. 
So, Ronaldo here, Carvalho, Hugo Almeida, Bruno Alves and Quentin celebrating, Nani and also a lineup. Very nice. And finally, some slogans for the 2011 team. So, Força Portugal means Go Portugal, Portugal Ale, so the French slogan. Portugal, 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 Golden Selection, and also we're going to the Euro 2012, which was true. We made a rather good campaign, though, against Spain we lost at the semi-finals in penalties. Well, and here is the back, and so I don't think there's nothing more to say, so a very nice collection. Sorry again if it was a bit long for you, but you can always go on and fast forward the, the video okay so thanks a lot for watching and until the next video okay bye